Hello and welcome to, is it a good idea to flush this? I'm your host, Jory Karen. Today, we're going to be flushing this hot biscuit mug filled with roasted nuts. Aw oh, yeah, roasted nuts. Because let's be honest here, nobody likes roasted nuts. It smells like pooping! Why do these underage girls keep stalking me now? Ladies, why do these underage girls keep stalking me now? Nobody likes burrito nuts. The maps! They do nothing! Why do these Is it a good idea to flush this? Let's find out. Here at the Jory Karen Bathroom Studios, safety is our number one concern, and that's why we have these masks. Because nobody wants to get stuck in a stinky situation. Today we'll be using my home toilet, Nicole, the Kohler Highline Classic. You want some specs? I'll give you specs. 1.28 gallons per flush, a flushing power of 10 out of 10, as rated by Home Depot. Don't really know what that means, but I think it means it's stuff. We'll go bye-bye. But I know you're thinking right now, Jory, enough talk. Open her up and put your nuts inside of her, and let's do just that. It's a bit nutty. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Let's see what happens. In three, two, one. Oh, shit! They're all gone! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was, uh, that was too good. So, you may be wondering, is it a good idea to flush roasted nuts? It is absolutely a good idea to flush roasted nuts. I didn't even have to use my scepter of hope in that one. Yeah, the nuts just went by. Uh, oh my god. Thank you, Nicole. You're a beautiful, beautiful girl. That's about it for this episode of Is It a Good Idea to Flush This? I'm your host, Jory Karen. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Don't worry, it was oatmeal. Oh! Okay.